The Rockets owner Tillman Fertitta, who appeared on First Take earlier today, was asked about his expectations for Houston this season. Last week, Fertitta told Yahoo Sports that the window for winning a title is right now, but today he was a bit more diplomatic. Let's be honest. We're not chasing one team anymore. I mean, look at Utah. I mean, mm -hmm. look at Portland, look at Denver, look at the Clippers, look at the Lakers. It's you stacked. look at Okay, it is, it is. It oh is. It is. Everybody should be so excited about the NBA season. I know I am. I mean, I am. More too. than we as are. A, as a, yeah. Forget being an owner. As a fan, mm -hmm. okay, this is going to be mm -hmm. a really good time, but we better be in the Western Conference Next. Finals. So, Nick, do you see the Rockets as real contenders to win the title this season? No. <laughs> okay. Honestly, no. I, I just don't believe the pairing of Harden and Westbrook are going to work. We have seen historically that those guys are best when they have the ball in their hands and they can do whatever they want with it. How are they going to coexist now together and all of a sudden one guy's going to be like, no, 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 you take it. I, I understand why they made the move because they were going nowhere with Chris Paul as the second piece of that group. I just don't believe that those two guys at this point in their career are going to be able to bridge the gap in that system to get them all the way, not just through the West, but then into the finals and winning. Scott, you don't look don't, like you're feeling I it. I don't like to disagree with this, this guy, but I don't like to disagree this time because I, I, I think Russell Westbrook is the piece that Mike D'Antoni needs. Okay. I mean, you looked at some of the point guards that he's had in the past, Chris Paul, Steve Nash, this guy got a motor and he has an engine and he will play that point guard position a lot differently than those two guys. And I, I think his, his force, his thrust is going to help the Houston Rockets. We haven't seen that out of the Houston Rockets in a while. I mean, we've been watching James Harden take his time, bring the ball down court, create his own offense, and then if he don't have anything, he kicks it off. Westbrook is going to push the ball up, and he's going to get you on your heels night in and night out. And I think it's, it's going to be a big positive for their offense. They like to score points. Russ Brook loves to push the ball. He loves to score. And I, I, I think it's a match made in heaven. I'm going to take the wait-and-see approach. That's a cop-out, obviously. but <laughs> I do that? I, yeah, but it's okay to do that every <laughs> once in a while. But I'm with you, Scotty. I think it's going to be fascinating to see the pacing of this particular offense because – Remember, Mike D'Antoni was seven seconds or less yeah, not that long yeah, ago, yeah. and then he completely 180'd for James Harden and Chris Paul. Maybe we'll see some semblance of a mixture of those two offenses, the isolation and the seven seconds yes. or less. And, and I expect to see a, a huge change in Westbrook game. Uh, he struggles shooting the ball from the field, so that's the only thing that he had to really work on this summer. I expect him to get back up to the MVP level, and with him and Harding, I think they're unstoppable. Scotty, how difficult do you think it'll be for Westbrook to take that second role after being the focal point for so long, not only with the Thunder, but in that city in Oklahoma City, being the center of everything, and now he's going to a team that is clearly not his? I think he doesn't have to take that second role. I think James Harden's had to pass the torch over to him oh, and okay. allow him as a point guard to lead this team. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget, neither one of these players have won a championship. James Harden is truly not a point guard. He's a shooting guard. Mm -hmm. I think he has to defer a little bit to Westbrook, let him run the team. He's still going to get his opportunities. He's still going to be their game closer. He's still going to hit his opportunities to play his one-on-one. -on -one. But I think pushing the ball night in and night out, the ball is going to be in Westbrook's hands. Can, can Harden's ego allow that? I, I, I think so. I mean, it's not going to affect his scoring. No. He's, he's still probably going to lead the league in, in scoring. He's probably still the most difficult guy to guard. So I, I think it's going to give him some rest by taking him off the ball a little bit. And to your point, Scotty, it's better if the ball is in Russell Westbrook's hand because he's not as good a shooter as Harden. Harden is a much better shooter from distance than Westbrook is. So it would behoove them to actually have the ball in Russ's hands more than Harden's. Yeah, and I, I think it's going to speed their offense up a little bit because Harden can now use that that energy to come off of picks and and be more effective attacking teams at the rim we've seen him attack five guys so mm -hmm. defensive how really loaded up and been ready for his style of play but I, I think West Westbrook is going to give him a different challenge he's, he's going to have to play a different style of game so let me ask you this question because I think this is the challenge right uh, the best organizations are great from the top to the bottom and they're all on the same page it doesn't feel like this organization is on the same page when it comes to Mike D'Antoni they didn't extend his deal they got rid of his entire staff how does that affect what they plan on trying to do they treat him like a player <laughs> you know what? Um, I, I don't think it's going to affect them a lot. 
I, I think Mike wants to win and prove that, you know, he, he deserves whatever is coming to him. Uh, a lot of times organizations hold things back from players and coaches and want them to grind and, and give a little bit more. So it's just a challenge for him to show that he can win. And this is his opportunity. They've been in the Western Conference Finals and he's shown that he can win in the 82 game season. Now you have to show you can win in the postseason and be the best. Nick, is D'Antoni in uh, some trouble? He is if he doesn't go all the way this year, I think. I think they're they're lined everything up so that they can make a change if it doesn't work. And if they win it all, they're going to say, hey, Mike, you're the best, yeah. you're the greatest. <laughs> but, but, Scotty, that would be what I am trying to piece together to what you just said. D'Antoni all along has always been the guy who is great in the regular season, and then that system just kind of falls apart down the stretch in the playoffs. So why now in this moment do you think it's going to be different? Well, I think he's got two MVPs that are very hungry to win a title. And I think it all falls in their hands at the end of the day is can these two guys win? Can they lead a team to a title? James Harden has been MVP and been, you know, a runner up for numerous of times. So has Westbrook. Mm -hmm. Can these guys piece this together? And they, they have great complimentary players on this team. This is their time. Yeah. Can they win? And I don't think it really falls on D'Antoni's hand. Yes, his coaching will be important, but it's what the players are going to do on the court. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.